Okay, hello. If this is the first of the cast series, foot surgery series that you're here for, this is the end. <laughs> this is uh, close to the end of the line. So I will link everything below the playlist that will catch you up on what happened. But I did have a bunion surgery and I am on week seven of my recovery. And I just came back from the surgeon just a few minutes ago. And she said that everything looked good as far as healing and the recovery process. Um, she says for the most part, it's perfect, best case scenario. But she did notice when she asked me to wiggle my toes, my front toe, which had the operation on it, was a little stiff. And she felt it and said that um, I needed to work through the scar tissue because it should bend more than it was. Like it wouldn't be 100% what it was because nothing's ever 100% after a surgery but it should be a little bit better than it was so she showed me that I needed to start pretty much doing this manually with my hands moving it recommended maybe getting a massage just to help work through some of that scar tissue but everything looked good and that I could uh, start transitioning into wearing sneakers so for the most part I still need to wear uh, the walking boot but tonight I could wear my sneakers for for about 45 minutes to an hour and to take my time with that you know start with standing in the sneakers sitting down taking a few steps sitting down and just wearing those um, because now we're at the point where my joints and muscles have to get and bones have to get used to being supportive without a cast of some kind without some outside structural support just them themselves and it's again a slow transition process again not trying to push myself because that doesn't help things in these situations but she said otherwise everything looked good and she goes I was I need to slowly like you know two hours in in the shoes and then three or four hours in sneakers and she was very specific she said no sandals flip-flops are not shoes um no heels boots she goes when I tell you that it's okay for you to wear shoes I specifically mean supportive sneakers supportive tennis shoes stuff with laces and arch support um and that I needed to wear those uh, uh basically for the rest of the month and then I could wear boots and stuff after that she goes but for about 10 days she estimated like 7 to 10 days of me slowly transitioning into sneakers out of the boot um and after three or four days I was cleared to uh, being in the sneakers comfortably she goes if it hurts you know let us know if something seems to be wrong call us but she goes it's just going to be you know, getting that stiffness out, getting everything used to everything again, and that I could, after three or four days-ish, um, depending on how comfortable I felt with walking around in the sneakers, that I could then stand in the shower, that I could take a bath and be able to put enough pressure on my feet to be able to get myself off the floor out of the tub and all of that stuff. And then she goes, after I go two complete days just wearing sneakers, that after that I would be cleared for um, going back to work and driving. And then in six weeks, she wants to have another follow-up appointment with me. So I'm going to stop this for right now, and I will show you me putting on um, my right foot sneaker for the first time. And, uh, you know, you will be with me for that first time process. So this is going to be a little bit shorter of a video. And again, if you want to see the whole journey, the links are there and below. And, but otherwise, hey, we did it. We're at the end. Ha <laughs> ha. Success. Hey, everyone. Uh, this is the warning part. I'm going to be showing my foot because I'm going to be putting it into a shoe. So it's going to involve unwrapping and seeing my bare foot. If that's not your thing, skip ahead a little bit. Warning, warning, warning. I loosened the shoe up a little bit more. And I just... Okay. That's a little bit tight. Uh, oh boy. Uh, let me get back to you. Okay, 
she was tied, she was on. Um, I forgot how difficult it was to put a shoe on. Like, this foot just kind of goes in. This foot needed some work. All right, here we go. Uh, we're, we're standing. That's what I got. Going to stand again and this is the foot that needs the help. Okay. Okay. the pressure on my ankle area like the, this part right here that's what feels the weirdest the stuff up by my toes doesn't feel that weird I don't know if maybe this is just a little bit tight at the top let me try loosening this and we'll see again this is just all raw authentic how we're doing it kind of a thing so okay that feels better gonna take another step yeah the top was just a little bit tight i just had to loosen the laces a little bit and that feels a lot better okay um so i get to spend like 45 minutes ish in a sneaker um no, not going to try any stairs or anything. Um, do you have to use the bathroom? You don't get to follow me for that because that's weird. But, uh, yeah, let's end this. I do have another follow-up appointment with uh, the doctor in six weeks just to do another follow-up appointment. Um, I'm not going to end the video quite right here. There's going to be another little segment after this, after I take this shoe off so uh, it's uh, 647 right now and then after that um, it'll be closer you know it'll be after 7 but I plan on um, excuse me uh, doing the little toe exercises and stuff so there is that okay I just got back from uh, my first trip in sneakers to the restroom and I have to tell you, uh, my foot is throbbing a little bit. <laughs> um, this is why you have to go slowly and just do a few steps and then rest. So I'm sitting in my chair doing the resting part because, uh, yeah, that actually feels like so much on my foot without the support. Um, the top of my toe and my whole foot is just feeling a little bit pulsy. Um, of course, you know, that's free blood flow, you know, without any restriction and stuff and that's why it's a oops, sorry <laughs> that's why it's a transition thing. warning again about to show my foot again just letting everybody know yes i did just get out of the shower by the way <laughs> okay so here is the foot and i need to just physically bend my toe back and forth she said to work through the scar tissue that's built up and I'm supposed to kind of massage along here because there is like some scar tissue build up that needs to, the muscle needs to work past. So it's just, you know, we're not doing anything massive. It's just a flex forward and back up because I just need, my toe should be able to return to this bend on its own. And right now I can kind of only do this with my toe. It doesn't actually, I can't make it bend just by wanting it to. And I do still have some dry skin built up. You can really see it after I get out of the shower, but I'm just kind of showing you from this angle what the foot needs to do, what the toe needs to do. Again, it's just sort of a bend, and I'm supposed to press my thumb here 
and just do some massaging. She recommended that I get a foot massage to help with the tissue buildup and help activate all those nerves again and work through the joints. But yeah, so this is just what I'm supposed to do every day. That is that. Again, if you have any, you know, surgery cast related questions that I didn't answer, I will do my best to answer them. Again, I'm not a medical professional. I was just sharing my insight and journey with everybody. And um, I you can I will link my Instagram below. I will be doing uh, more updates on Instagram, uh, like as I'm going along and stuff like that. So.